Welcome. This is the grade three math practice test for T and Ready. This is question on this version number six. This is the 2019-2020 version. This is question number six on this one. It may be a different number on a new one, and I'm not going to remake it, so just be prepared. Anyway, Linda is covering the top of her table with square tiles of the same size. She has already completed the first row and the first column as shown. How many tiles will Linda use in all to cover up the whole tabletop? Enter your answer in the space provided. This is a really basic, not really basic, it's a basic idea uh, of area. That's what we're really working with here. So what she's going to end up doing, and I'm going to see if I can get the right pieces to make this a thing. Is she's going to make much better and infinitely more straight lines on her table. And the reality is, at the end of this, I'll show you the quick version of this that would take you less time, but you can always draw the picture. That's the reality. It's not that complicated to draw, and then you can just count. Why wouldn't you, right? So this is what she's going for. And the question I'm supposed to answer is how many tiles will she use in all to cover up the whole tabletop? Now we're going to, again, because of the way that it's set up, and this thing shifts over a little bit for some reason, and that really drives me crazy, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we're going to assume that that includes the tiles that she's already put down. It doesn't say how many more. It just says how many is she going to use total. So we can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I might make a note to myself over here that there are nine of these. And going down, I might do the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, from this point, I can just count. I mean, that's one way to get there. It's not the fastest way to get there, but if you kept counting, you'd count here to 18, and then you'd get 27, and then you'd get 36, and then you'd get 45, and then you'd get 54, and then you'd get 63. So that would be the total number. So my answer down here at the bottom is going to be 63. And if you have the time to do that, do it. It's okay. There's no rules against it. Now, on the flip side of that, this is a basic area question. And when I'm using a rectangle, which is what this is, because it has four sides, which means it's a quadrilateral, the side here and side here are parallel to each other, which means they don't intersect any point. Same over here. And these angles are looking pretty right to me, so this is a rectangle. So if I'm going to do the area, which is how many one-by-one one groups I have inside. I'm just going to use the formula length times width. But you don't even really need to know that. All you need to know is if I'm finding the one-by-one one groups inside, I'm finding area, I need to take how long it is and multiply it by how uh, wide it is or tall it is or whichever way you want to look at it. It's a two-dimensional figure, so just take the two dimensions. So I have nine times 7, and 9 times 7 is, of course, 63. If you don't know your multiplication tables for 9, but you do have a system where you use your fingers to tell you what 9 times 7 is, count over till you get to the 7th finger, which would be the index finger on your right hand, so the pointy finger on the right hand. Put that down. In front of it, including your thumbs, you should have 6 fingers, and after that, you should have 3. So it gives you 63. So Whatever method that you want to use to get to the answer, that's the one that you should use. You can use multiplication knowing the fact. If you don't know the fact or forget that, like how all that goes, or it's test A and you're, what am I supposed to do? Just draw the grid in and you will be fine. Anybody that judges you basing, uh, based on the fact that you drew a grid on a T and Ready test is probably not somebody that you want to have as a friend anyway. But that's, neither, that's not for me to decide. Just get the correct answer, and you'll feel better about the whole situation. Plus, drawing the grid kind of is fun to do in the middle of a test if you have time. If you don't have time, get those multiplication facts down, and you should be in great shape.